Well, I'm at Gibbon's Garage. <laughs> and you're not going to believe this. Where'd Mario go? Come on, Mario! Um, I told him, there, see, there's the, the I, I said I needed a, uh, a fix, right, for my tire. And I thought, you know, they, they'd just patch it. So they took the tire off the rim, right? He says, well, it looks like there was a hole in it. There was a hole, not in the sidewall, right, in the tread. And look what he pulled out. That's what he pulled out of my tire. This, they all looked at and said, we've never seen anything like that before. You know, it's always me. It's always starry, right? There you go, brother. Let's see what's going on with the tire. So your tire was ruined, huh? Yeah, look. This, this, is, this is what was in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how it got in it, but... Wow, right there. Yeah, yeah, right so there. It went, it went That's through. insane. That, yeah, it went through. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's pure insanity right there. <laughs> I don't know how that fit in there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, she may be helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, ins that's insane. Wow. Oh, that's a funny crew in there. That's, that's, a, that's a funny crew. They're so nice here. So I, I believe he's getting me a different tire. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull over here and I'm going to start taking the other one off. Let's see, i got to consolidate my time. Because I want to get up hiking. Oh, I stop at the pizza pub. I love that new tire iron. Okay, see, I'm gonna surprise them. I'll surprise them when they get out this. This will be almost half done. Let's see, oh, I put this on backwards. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Well, that came right off. Came right off and landed on the camera. Oh, it's great. Okay, all right, we're good. There we go, that looks good. One minute, one minute, I'm getting to be a pro. Got, he got a new tire. Well, it may not be brand new. He says this one will last me until I'm ready to put a Another one on. I cannot believe it, my luck. No, it's by the grace of God. Even this morning in my devotional, I was thanking God how blessed I am with everything. Look at that, I can't believe he had a tire. Oh, I got it on. That is, that is Starry Power. Yeah, it's gonna be a new slogan, Starry Power. Yeah. Well, we're on the road again. And they checked my tire pressure, it's all good. They showed me where, uh, what, what each tire should be, like 30, 32, everything was fine. So I'm back on the road. We're gonna stop and get some ice and we're heading back up. Another Starry Adventure. I am becoming, I should open my own shop. Starry Tire Changing. Yep. And I told the guy, I said, because of God's grace, this is why this is happening. Wherever I go, in my journal, I said I was not, I thank the Lord for his protection. I thank the Lord for his peace and um, comfort. And you know what? You put your trust in the Lord. No lie. No. Well, we're still driving to our destination. It's about 28, 30 miles to get back. Okay, today's adventure, we are going to take Trail 83 and go up to Bluebird Lake. Uh, it looks like a pretty broken up trail, but uh, it can also go over here to this green mountain in this uh, uh, Glayton range. Should be some pretty outstanding peaks to see. I'm excited. The nice thing with this trail is a lot of stream crossings. Lots. Really makes it nice for the dog because he's got tons of water on the trail. And what kills me, he only gets his feet wet. The mighty princess dog. If Sprig was here, he'd be bathing. He'd be bathing. But uh, this trail is climbing. It's a slow climb. But I love the I love the, the creek crossings. It's gorgeous. That's almost something that comes out of a postcard. Look at that. Pretty nice. So peaceful. Oh, now I can't be to the lake already. There, no says Blue Bird Trail, Paradise Campsite, Blue Bird Lake. Well, let's see. There's a lake here. 
That was like the fastest two and a half miles. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Must be Bluebird Lake. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how he waits. He's waiting for me. He's waiting. Are you waiting for Mama? You waiting for Mama? <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Would have a fishing pole. You could fish for some trout. Or kokanee. I think they, they fish for kokanee. Salmon. Oh, look at that. I'd like to get up there. I think that's the Highline Trail. I think that's where I've been. Okay, well, we're continuing on the trail. Where I left off before. A uh, little dirt dog. He comes out here and there's all these little marmots. And uh, he just digs and digs. I'll see there, there he marmot dog, marmot dog, or whatever. They're not squirrels. They're like some type of groundhog. Oh, yeah, I think they're marmots. Suddenly he has no, no energy like on the trail. He's always dogging it. And then, oh yeah, he's all, he's all spring. Oh, look, there's another lake up here. You know, there's another lake up here. Look at this. This is the Pacific Northwest Trail. I just saw the little icon again. Well, the end of the day, and this is the last campsite. That's it, my friends. It's not bad. Kind of in the middle of nowhere again. Uh, this road, this is this ain't really a road. I was driving up there. This it, this ain't going to no nowhere. So I'm pretty far back there. Um, but the sun's going down. I'm cooking some food on my little see. And Mario's hungry, so we'll get him some food. We had a good day. And oh, I had a powerful ending. I'm going to tell you about Charles. It's going to be a whole vlog. Charles, a believer on the side of the road.